All right, let's see, Mene. We inside InfoTech IT. I ain't gonna lie. Let's take a little while for me to learn more. I'm gonna tell these people on WhatsApp or online. It take a while. It take a while uh, to get through this paper. It take a little while, boy. Who sir? IT is a good bit. And I wanted to review because uh, our uh, IT teacher helped me with some solutions there, but I wanted to review each thing. So I'm going to do this paper. Programming will have to come tomorrow. Uh, I would say about 60% true freshening up on my programming. Uh, blocks, my loops, everything. And, and that's Pascal programming, right? So I was pretty good at Pascal programming back in the days. Um, I, I remember when we did our SBO, it was one tick. It was like a booklet. It was like a book, <laughs> right? So um, the physics, the physics will be coming back again tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a good bit of physics to do. We may have to touch the inter integrated science as well tomorrow. Hopefully I can do another IT paper and some programming tomorrow. Back a bite of more like I'm only one person we are the end in the exam right there, you know. So make sure you revise properly on your own. I'm just here as a booster to give give the people them some some I don't know. Help. So let's get this paper done. Let's get this paper started. Where I put this paper now? Where did we put the paper now, oh boy? Come on, paper. Now is the wrong. That's the wrong time to be doing this. Um, y'all, we trying to pull up the paper. Here. If I could. But my email keeps switching up here. Paper, that was the wrong time to be doing that, eh? Alright, so I get the paper up here. Let the people them know we're outside for IT. We're inside, we're outside. I'm gonna just make this a little bigger. So I could snapshot a good thing, ne? Eh? Hey, friends, them come on the live. I. T. We inside. We starting. We starting very shortly. Just snapping. So you should start a political party. He does do everything. The barbecue was nice. Yeah, it was nice. So you should start a political party. He does do everything and anything. Integrated science is tomorrow. What are you saying? Today is Saturday. What? <laughs> Check CSEC TT on Instagram. CSEC TT on Instagram and um, something you see. Three minutes in, I'm early. Yeah, somebody come out early. Um, hey, Mr. Hub, behave yourself, eh? You tell me you're coming to behave. Behave yourself. Don't let me have to pay you back in detention, Mr. Hub. Right, what subjects are you not able to do right now? I don't do business subjects. And language. I don't do business or languages. IT is food. Right. So IT is food once you once you review it, but to try and learn all of it in one one or two days like me was was a scene, right? Um although I did do IT, but when I when when we do it it was com something called computer studies. It was a GC. So there are some little differences. And we had a huge bulk of definitions to learn and our project was intense. Uh we had to write up the whole code my program was a library program that could sort books and record people who borrow any book books and stuff like that and and know whether they have a book overdue and prompt and, and print out this and it was real crazy i can still remember a good bit of it so thank you so much i was so happy to get this notification great 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 going 20 percent 28 percent in the dan sb nice how much as how much again on the itsb uh more fake news <laughs> it's too easy for more it is too easy for more than subject yeah so once you once you memorize because a lot of it is just memorizing and if you if you 
just fairly in the tech, you would know a lot of it just to get down your definitions and things. So what gives people a problem, I think, is the um, programming is the, is the scene. So what about multiple choice? Have a feeling it's going to be hard. Uh, we'll see what we can do there. So, titty, titty. All that titty, how much again? Yes, SB? 100%. So most people cracking the SB. Decent. 73 out of 90. Hmm. 70 out of 90. What are we now going to tell you teachers? What are we now going to tell you boy? How are get? So low boy. Cohen, we need programming. The thing is, I ain't done with programming yet. I need to be done with programming as well. Now, the thing about programming, it was so much fun uh, uh, when I when I figured it out finally. Pascal program. I used to just make programs for my brother and stuff and just, you know, little fun, little small programs. Word programs, not not um, ask, not graphical programs. Um, but now it, it has walked all away. <laughs> It has walked all away. So wait, what are we learning today? We're going to learn through, we're going to do through the whole of the paper. I didn't see the title of the video. All right, so seven minutes passed already. I shouldn't talk no more. We need some help in binary. This paper had a binary question in it. Everything we come across, I will do some revision on it. So let's begin, please. Let's get this show on the road. Swap. So the paper we doing in the title there, I forget what paper it was, I think it was Jan 2018. Snapping the first question. The first questions in these papers seem to be like a like a warm-up my boy. Like yeah, take some marks. Lee. So this is question one. State whether it's input or output devices. Plot, so give me them. So number one, number one, number one, Penny had a right good tonight and he had a good bit of writing to do. Number two, number three, all the others, I had to find the sweet spot in the pen. Number three, number three, this pen like he had enough, boy. Number three, number two, four. Alright, so, give me them in, in terms of the number now. I just seen output, input there, I don't know which number you're talking about. One is output, yes. So output, output, input. Number three, input. Number four, output. Number five, output. Number six, I see number data correct six yet, but input. What's my name? Great job. So that was a six marks day to, to if you didn't get six marks in this IT exam here, at least until a little yeah, yeah, what you do with your whole five years, boy. Right. So let's go on to part B. So I think there are twelve questions, eleven or twelve questions. Um And save. I can't remember the, when is the when was the last iteration of the IT syllabus. Bam. State productivity tools. All right, so that is that is what people get in problem with productivity tools and programming. I was told that by an IT teacher that coming tomorrow. One device, but I had to relearn the whole IT syllabus, the whole IT kind of way to catch an idea of what's going on. I use some of her solutions as well. Um, I need gear, I need gear. I nearly need gear, I nearly need gear for IT here. State one device, like if my arrows doing the exam one day, I make it. State one device which would be, which would, could be used for each of the following activities. State one device, all right, you just want a device. Participants in an online meeting sharing video to see each other. Well, you have seen people saying webcam, Webcam, seeing people saying monitor. A bank teller, well, there's only, there's only one thing they're looking for here. Magnetic. Ink. Character recognition. Right? 
So you could go down the road with this. You go down with microphone and thing here. But with this part, I, yeah, there's only MC or MIC already. You could, you could put in there. This one we're marking multiple choice sheets. Would you use OCR or OMR? Which one? Which one would you use? Tell me which one you'd use for that. Or, or was the was the difference between OCR and OMR? The cash are checking out items being purchased. Barcode reader. Okay. Backward reader, backward scanner. All right, so OCR stands for optical character recognition. OCR recognizes characters, so like ASCII characters, so like letters and thing. OMR just recognizes a mark, whether there's a mark in a certain spot or not. So instead of going through that whole OCR thing, we'll use OMR. In a way, OCR can be used to. Is OMR we use when because they see multiple choice sheets, right? So since it's multiple choice you're using OMR, optical mark recognition. Yeah, a, P, a point of seal terminal. Here. Yeah. I think that should be accepted. <laughs> Let me see if I leave out anything. Um close off all of that. this so any other ideas you'll hand that we could have used I'm just fixing my email here you see you going back doing nothing brethren right we're not getting next people say next leave a like on the video yeah earlier listen to jaleel oh 200 people so earlier today we had a physics live and it, it was not a full load it was about 100 people or less no it was over 100 people but start off with small all right i think we good day question two let's scan question two into the dance Let's bring question two into the dance on here. Question two. So that's question one. Question one was food. Question one was a nice tasty dish. Let's see what question two is about. So question two going more into input output devices here. Let's see. So like the first three questions, once you memorize, once you revise, I mean, them first three questions should be okay. Yes, can I could work for part three? Part three? Nah, don't put scanner here. I mean, I mean not scanner in itself, no. I mean barcode scanner, not a scanner. In. So a barcode reader, barcode scanner, whatever. Point of sale terminal, okay. OMR. Right, but a scanner in itself, I don't see how you can use a scanner to cash out people. This question here Sharon is at a workshop and decides to join a teleconference. With her staff, which audio output device would you recommend that you use? Give a reason for your recommendation. Some people say in speaker. Speaker. Okay. If you say speaker, why? Okay, if she uses a speaker. What's the reason? What's the reason? So the speaker is it loud? So everyone can yeah, cause here we we doing the teleconference with our staff. If you say headphones, the headphones would be for privacy. But I would go with speaker in this case. 
because they say conference with a staff so privacy but privacy would be uh, you, you do not disturb anybody thing 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 blah 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 nobody outside could hear she business yes well then right and also the headphones come with a mic so you get a nice communication there right but I might I might have choose um, I might have choose speaker and they, they wanted an output device so you can't say microphone right Shania are headphones so Somalia do this paper let's get the next question so we should be ripping through this fast man hopefully this live just take two hours hopefully by 11 o'clock we inside right so a dot matrix printer printer and a plotter as opposed to a printer I'll let it help me with this one I forget about these things I just revise it now for each of the following suggest one scenario and provide a reason in which it would be more suitable to use a dot matrix as opposed to a laser printer So where are we going to use a dot matrix printer in a pro in oppose as opposed to a laser printer? Where are we going to use that? <laughs> Somebody said in a feeling. <laughs> Shania, are you right at printing stuff at home? Cheaper. This is the second part in question B. Where would it be more suitable to use a laser printer? That matrix makes low quality carbon copies or printing text on continuous sheet of paper sheets of paper cheaper. So that matrix would be like in a supermarket, right? cash registers um, laser is used for printing quickly continue So that matrix, somebody says supermarket are taking that or bills. Anything I need to do a lot of carbon copies. I see that matrix and it and it cheap. Right? So that's it that's it like a reason. So most of these questions they basically asking you. Describe something, where you can use it, reasons, disadvantages, advantages, food thing, food thing. And where you're going to use a plotter as a poster printer. So you just needed to talk about the dot matrix printer here, not the laser printer, but a laser printer is more for home and stuff. Plotter is for architectural designs. A key. What do you really spell that word, boy? Somebody spell that word for me. Architectural design. And why are you going to use a plotter? Or printing house plans, whatever. As opposed to a normal printer. I imagine if you feel IT in this day when IT is everything. Now, boy, not yet, but Sunday I'll be it. Staying people talking to each other here. Because of the continuous lines. Large and high quality. Large paper size. High quality. I'm taking that. So the plotter 
would be large paper size. So I'm blocking, I'm blocking. Large, I'm really blocking that much, it's just size. Large paper size, high quality. You're getting more detail on this printer because the nature of the printer. Um, so then the plotter, the plotter versus the printer. High quality image, large paper size. All right, next question. Let you get, let you get through these food questions into the real questions. Why choose the following since just one scenario and provide a region? No, we already take that already. What are we doing? Are we send my screenshots then, boy? Um, so we continue in with this. When is it better to use this over that kind of questions? Only well, let me know if I miss out any questions there. Sometimes when I screenshot in the papers, it's getting mixed up. So when we're going to use magnetic tape, when you're going to use magnetic tape over, do we actually got to rewrite maths? That's not confirmed. That just keep going around and around. And them guy in, in Guyana, the news only reported that apparently because everybody from Guyana only has seen that. So we we waiting to see. Magnetic tape as opposed to flash drive. So you'll yeah, use this in the storage. Uh, maybe like business files. You'll use that in storing files because of one reason and one reason alone. Well, cheap, a little bit, way cheaper. Right? Store a large amount of data cheaply. But every two years you gotta replace it because in every two years that every few years or so you gotta replace it. That that going on. Next thing you lost all the data. It's also not good for accessing data continuously. So you ain't gonna do that. So let's do everything but penmanship. <laughs> Shania, come off the life. <laughs> come off the life. I need to put you in detention. And say one more thing, Shania, and you're going in detention. A joystick as opposed to using a mouse. Joystick is more of it like uh, so in gaming, we are use it in gaming. And more responsive. It's more responsive for gaming. Coordination ergonomics. The co coordination and ergonomics designed for gaming. So you'll we'll be, we'll we'll be more precise. Yeah, some people say more buttons, yeah. Right? Your joystick might have three, four, five, six buttons designed for that. Yeah, the live is always safe. Alright, next question. So the first few question is just to see if, how good you're really. Alright, so reaching the conversion. So I do this conversion, let me get this conversion done once and for all. Make sure you can do this. I think it's come for two marks. Let me see how much marks this is going to come for. Make sure you can convert to binary. Three marks. Hmm. And maths has come for like about two marks. So the IT syllabus is pretty fat in terms of the amount of things you have to learn, but it's things that you feel like you're hearing about every day. Ah, uh, right. This is 2018 Jan. Convert 42 to base 2. So you know it's a division. See, we, we stick on here. So 42. You say 2 into that. 2 into that is 21. Remainder 0. Let's put the 0 in a different color. Remainder 0. And we will be like 2 into that again because we can put in to base 2. So somebody done link off the answer there. So long, so much division out of Dubai. Can you use a calculator in this exam? Yeah, I think so. Let me just verify. Um, do not use day, 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 day. No information about calculator is given. I will need to get back to you on that calculator thing. My brother is not my thing here. I don't know if you could use it. 
Yes, you can. So people say no, some people say yes. No, yes, sir, no, so what are really going on here? So some people know how to do this base thing in the calculator. We just get to use it. Things some people are going to use it and some people think going to use it. CXE, where are you? Where are you? CXE, you see what's going on here? Alright. Some people saying we can and adamant that we can and some people adamant that we cannot. Some people write it in Jans and in January and saying they get to use it. Some people saying they weren't allowed in internal exams. There's no have a fight between the no pussy and the yes pussy. So Shania saying she gets to use it in January. Some people say no, the invigilator say no. Ramon saying no. Kick saying what madness I hearing. Alright, so we, we having a big fight here. But apparently some people get to use it, right? And some people not getting to use it. So I don't know. I don't know what it's I don't know what it is. So an next person write it in Jan says she was allowed. So if you get to use the calculator, boom bam bing, you could convert. But they want to see the working. Yeah, actually there are actually marks assigned to the working here. So if you use the calculator and get the answer, you're not gonna get all you're not gonna get all. Anyhow, continue with the conversion. A man's a man jumping, sir. Can you continue with the conversion? <laughs> yes, sir. Alright, so two into that is one. It's ten. Two into two could go into twenty one ten times. But you'll get a remainder. Remainder one. Then eight them are next two. How much times? Two could go into ten by two could go into ten five times. Again, mix up with all these colours I pick in here. Two could go into ten five times. But before I do that, let's put the remainder that I got. Now I could have put the remainder up. Uh, let me see where there is where to put the remainder boy. Because I just doing it like a matsman here. Um I'll repeat it for those who don't understand and, and I might throw out the next number. So just to make sure that everybody on the same page here. What question is this? Question three. Or question four. Why, 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 why? So people already felt all the answers there. Yeah, you're going to do it upwards when you're done. Yeah, good, a good, a good day. A good day. Zip, zap, zip, zoe. So, what, what you could do is just remember that this part here is your remainders. This part that I have going on here are the remainders. So I was like 2 into 42, 21 remainder 0. 2 into 21, 10 times, but there's a remainder. 2 into 10, 5 times with no remainder. 2 could go into 5, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times with remainder 1. And two could go into two one time. Not the end of that day. Yeah. I should put this one here. Two could go into two one time. Remainder zero. Right, so somebody was jumping down my day and mix up with these colors here, boy. But the colors is to make sure they understand. Right. And then two could go into one zero times. Well, zero times. Whew! A lot of division here, boy. Two could go into one zero times. But you need to put the remainder here. And then you read the answer going back up. Read like this. So the answer is one zero. One zero one zero one. One zero one zero one zero. And a parallel two done underneath it. Everybody get a? I get 15. Yeah, can we get 15? Yeah, so we have to do it like that. You have to do it. 
It is too long. What's too long? Say you rusty WD40. <laughs> so you know everyone did this paper for another term. Everyone do this paper for another term. What paper is this? This January 2018. Everyone would have done January 2019 or something. So you just procrastinate plenty. No, I don't. In certain things, in certain things. If I don't like something, I procrastinate. Um, the man, yeah, facts. Thank you. Me, me, no, not everyone. So continue. So let me continue. No, I didn't find a term. All right, so this is this. So we understand that. The next part of the question. So everybody fully understand this. We on turn next. So. Let's look at the next question. The chat is lively. So people take things from all over. One number on my and number three. Number three part B. So okay, now we need to we need to convert we need to convert binary back back to decimal. So let's do that. Let's convert the binary back to the decimal now. The mini decimal equivalent of 10012. Wrong pen. Let's see if this pen will connect. Um, so you have 10. Okay, I, I'll trade you how I know to do it for maths. 1001. You put your value there. 1001. This is 2 to the power of 0. It's 2 to the power of 1. This is 2 to the power of 2. Pen. And this is 2 to the power of 3. Right? Now, if that, if that bother in you, let me just tell you what those numbers are. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. This is 2. This is 4. This is 8. So any one of those things could have been. So that's your, that's your first column. This column here put in the number. Now, you're going to multiply. So you're going to multiply. We multiply like that to figure it out. 1 by 1 is 1. 2 by 0 is 0. 4 by 0 is 0. 8 by 1 is 8. And all of these in red here, you need to add. Understand? So I multiplied. There's a multiplication taking place between these here. So now the answer is 9 in base 10. Any questions? Yeah, I've seen some people like, yeah, the guide knows, the guide knows. Some people like, whoa, for real though. All right, so let's just do some quick, quick um, work in here. Convert 21 from base 10 to base 2. Just to make sure that I secure the bag if this question come. And convert from, let's do a number in base 2. 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, convert this number into this base 2. Convert it into the decimals. So for the first one, add zeros to make 8. Who cut your hair, sir? What, we have been through this. We have been through this 9,000 times. Let's not go through this again. A man saying this is math. So you good at programming? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get not everything in it. So the first one in the game, 1010. 1010. Skip these easy thing. You can't skip it because some people, some people think. Yes, I honed my barber. What happened? I went, my barber was full. And I tell him, all right, and I went and checked our next barber right next door, and that was a big, big mistake. Big, big mistake, partner. All right, so we get through, we get through. So let's do some. Let's let's do let's do this quickly. I will do it, we do it all in one pen, one color. Two into twenty one. Ten remainder one. Two into ten. Five remainder zero. Two into five. Two remainder one. Two into this one went it it catch back the same vibes like the last one. Um, two into two, one 
remain that 0, 2 to 1, 0 remain that 1. Or you could just take this one and put it there. Alright, so your answer is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Remember you're reading this way. If you don't read that way, you could get tired. Up. One, zero. In this case, the number is symmetrical, so it read out nicely. Is the answer. And this one, people getting 55. Let's see. So to convert this to decimal, the numbers on top are going to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. When we multiply, we are going to get 1, 2, 4, 0, 16, and 32. So we add up all of these. And people are telling me here that it's 55. Right. So simple, right? Yes, you must bag them five marks. The chat got the answer. Let's go forward. We're doing this past paper. Tomorrow I will I will try and do a whole course on programming. That will be it for IT. The rest of IT you have to do by yourself. I want to do some integrated science. I want to do some more physics, and to make sure we lock physics. Right. So maybe if I get more time or energy tomorrow, I could probably do some more in IT. But every time I do IT, I have to revise IT. So your Baba carry back the island, or it was like that. <laughs> well, I don't like to repeat this story every chat. So programming, so yeah, we come into the programming. We come into the programming question. So which one is it? Write a representation for the positive sign of a binary coded decimal. Positive sign. 1010. Move along with life. 1010. Right. Move along with your life. Next question. Guess that's straight off your memory there. Okay, this is a this is a nice question here. Anyway, you can tell more ask key stand so. What does this stand for? If the ASCII equivalent of the letter P is 101 zero, 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 zero. <laughs> I don't know man United Jersey but you might have this old Roma Jersey but this a old Roma Jersey. I used to play the Roma way back in the days in FIFA. Just for kicks. Why you can never wear your 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 Manchester Bruno? I can't wear no man you jersey. American Standard Code for Information Exchange, right? Great. So the same here that the ASCII for P is this. So this determine the equivalent for the letter U. P Q R S T U. So you need to see how much letters it comes after us. So. If this is for P, then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 letters after. 5 letters after. So you need to add on 5 to this, to the number for P. Now a car come and say is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 5, because this is not binary. Yeah, everybody, press like on the video. So, to do it, you need to get the 5 in binary first. So, we know 5 in binary, where it was. That is 0, 1, 
two, three, or you could just change it. Um, where am I? Where am I? Four, five. So this is the number five in binary. You good with that? So now we just need to add, and you must know to add zero, 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 and one zero one. We add in it. So in the end, we are going to end up with one zero one zero one zero one. This is your answer. Yeah, I didn't see the loss by bus today because I was revising IT. But I hear about the loss. Painful, painful. Alright, so everybody understand that? Let me get some wise in the chat. Somebody say I'm confused. Do not write your confused. Do not write your loss. Do not write you don't know what's going on. Tell me where you lost. Tell me what part you'll get lost in. Don't tell me everything either, because I can't help you if you see everything. Do more like these, do one more. Keep it to IT, please. So, can I tell you, Liverpool, what is BCE? Just go by it. Just go over back it. Go over back it. Part of getting better and getting... I'm telling you, as I experienced, and I've taught lots of students who get open scholarships, who get scholarships one-on-one -on -one as the private tutor. And I help because I can help in a lot of subjects and in the whole general learning and thing. People pay me a good bit of money to teach the, student, to teach the children one-on-one, -on -one, right? But um, what, I, what I see is when you have a problem, you need to understand where the problem is and, get, and, and be able to express and communicate, and that is the way how you learn. Boosting, well, um, what do you say? Strange, strange, um, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> weird flex, but okay. Um, what really happening here is they gave us what P was. P. P is this number here. P is that number, right? Keep that in your mind. It's like if I say P is, P is 10, what is U? If P is, or if P is 11, what is you? Then this could be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Simple like that. But the only problem is we count it in binary. So if P is this number here, which I don't know what that number is, but in binary is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? If P is that number there, what is you? I'm seeing here that I need to add on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more to it. Like if it was 11, it went plus 5 and reached 16. So if it's this number, I need to add on 5. But the only thing is I can't just add on 5. I need to add on 5 in binary numbers. How I change the 5? I change the 5 using this method here where I count in binary. So you should be able to know how to count in binary. Yeah, let's just skip that class. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Every time you reach full up, the, the, the column here, I start over. So I start back over, then I fill up again, then I start back over. This is 5, this will be 6, this will be um, 7, yeah, 7, then I just start back over. This could be 8, you understand? Alright, but if you don't know how to count in binary, have no fear, have no fear. You could just use the divide thing. You could just say, 2 into 5 is 2, remain that 1. 2 into 2 is 1, remain that 0. And 2 into 1 is 0, remain that 1. So you take these. 1, 0, 1, 0. And that's the answer there. Cool. Let me get some more Y's in the chat this time. Let me get some more Y's in the chat. The whole five seconds of confirming something binary killing. Yeah, boy, I had these moments. I had these moments. Okay, let me tell you what flashed through my mind there. Yeah? Like, if there is seven, what going on here? Where the rest of the numbers? And then there's like eight. Oh, yeah, eight start over. Eight come like ten, hundred, thousand things. So that I was thinking. <laughs> so show the breakdown. I, I just show the breakdown. 
Alright, we get a good bit of Y's in the chat, they compare to N's. So, Y's in the chat. Mine's kept Do another. Do another. Now, remember, you can't come on the live. Had a brush up on this month. You can't come on the live and expect to learn the whole of IT. The whole of IT, I mean, I sell better, I sell good, I sell good help, but I can't teach you the whole of IT. I just tried to learn the whole IT day and I just put on some good piece of cramming, but that was a little rough. That was a little rough. Um, let's move forward. We are number four now. Can't take too long. Trying to finish by 11. So I explained that twice. You can watch it over. Try different questions. Go in your textbook. Go in your notes. Go on the internet. Once you can access the internet, you can do a lot. You could get this back on any YouTube channel. Not any YouTube channel, but you know what I mean. You could search up a YouTube channel. So at Magnet Defense Systems Limited, there's 24-hour production system. In place. Okay. Timely reports must be constantly produced and sent to the engineers for immediate action. Okay. So this is processing modes, right? Whether you're going to use batch, real-time, or time-sharing. And I think there's online as our next one, too. So which one are you going to use? Thanks, man. Thanks. I just read your comment there that I was reading it fast because it was going up. So, yeah. So we're going to use real time. And why are we going to use real time? Immediate, right? Processing is immediate. Somebody say batch. Okay, if you're going to use batch, why would you use batch? Why would you use, why would you want to use batch in this situation? If you're using batch, you have to wait every now and then. You know. Batches go out. Then that means like if next thing the plant, next thing, wait, is that magnet defense? I don't know what that means. I don't know what is magnet defense. Next thing is like a, like an iron dome in Israel or something. <laughs> and missiles coming across. And you're doing batch processing. Boom, missile hit. And you didn't tell the engineers nothing. Next thing is is a defense system for a computer and the computer being a, um, the system being attacked. It needs to be immediate. You need immediate response. So I I, I feel you hit them the batch. You know? e processing is immediate, so you get immediate um immediate actions. What time tomorrow is he live? Tomorrow lives will take place maybe from like around three. Physics lives, and hopefully we get in that into life with integrated science. I'll try to do the hardest topics. Anybody from integrated science here can tell me what's the hardest topics in integrated science. Instead, okay, let's get the next part of the question up. Why is tell me what's the hardest parts? Somebody say everything, somebody say force. Somebody say volcanoes? What? I'm confused. Somebody say hormones. Force. Force. Okay, I see two force. So maybe we just do force. So this, describe the two other modes. Or one mode other than the one explained. Would be more suitable. Okay, let's get them. Let's, let's just do it both one time. Batch. And what's the next one? Time sharing. Batch. Time sharing. Somebody saying hormones, blood types, them kind of thing. Hormones in shoot. Okay, hormones. Thing. All right, so enough of that. Batches for bills, right? Like electricity bill, 
things that come in, the companies process and then send out, process and then send out payroll. Wow, okay, it's gathered and sent out at regular intervals, right? Um, uh, what, what about time sharing? I thought batch was to make cookies to jog to help your goals. Situation for time sharing, people. Real time is for instant satisfaction, yes. Okay, a weird word to use there. See nothing for time sharing, boy. We're going on CX results equal time sharing. <laughs> time sharing. Yes, that's true. That's true. That is true. In a in, in a essence, although I might say online processing there, but I understand where you're trying to come with. Um, in an office setting. In an office setting, you might have one main computer with the CPU with a CPU, and you have everybody getting a time sharing. Thing, right? Um, right, yeah, so you're splitting reclude of various stations using one main CPU. Once one one main central processing spot. Um, and you have different terminals of various stations, terminals. Um, yeah. So that is that is what time sharing is about. Okay, let's let's roll out. So most people are going batch and just bills and payroll, right? Um, let's get the next. This guy, two situations. Hey. So we're going to get a little specific specifics. Yeah. So what happened? They're giving me some laptop specs here. And I'm pretty sure some of these questions, the idea behind some of these questions will repeat. Now I'm not a I'm not an IT boss like all my maths boss, eh? IT little rusty. As a man say WD forty. But the idea behind the question to repeat some of them. So what happened? They gave us some specs like this. So you all take a look at those specs. Hashtag tag boss. Tag boss. I have a song for tag boss. It's coming in my mind. It's coming in my mind. If I let's see me jump out with that song for tag boss, I'll know what to do. Um, thing is, uh, bank, bank, uh, I'm a goldfish, not a man, Matt, you are they talking some real weird things in that chat, boy. right, so they, they ask us now, to list these things, primary memory capacity, where's the primary memory capacity here, oh, you could not appreciate that Roma, Jersey. oh, you could not like Roma, I mean, you may not like them, but it's not like you have anything against Roma, what do you have against Roma? A man seeking to start pelting fists who dislike the line. 8 gigs, 8 gigs, so we see that right here. 8 gigs. As I appreciate my, the crew who is just we keep pelting out answers. What type of hard drive? SATA. That's it here. What this stands for? And what's the other type? What does it what does SATA stand for? And what is the other type? Right, yeah, there is trash. So why, why hate against them? Roma is trash. Serial advanced technology attachment. Very good. And what is the next type? Serial actor. Yes, 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 yes. Kinda, kinda vague on that one. SSD is not really hard drive mm, uh, because but I guess it uses primary storage as well. Yeah, because you can have the solid state drive. Yeah. 
So you all will go back and check through those, right? Kina CSI, IDE. Cool. What's the operating system? What's the operating system here? No, not Windows Home 10, Windows 10 Home 64. And was the hardware interface? Jeez, I need this boy. Windows. It is Windows. Do I need to write this? Windows 10? The hardware interface. What's the hardware interface? I go live Monday night for Infotech. Oh, this is Tuesday. What day is Infotech? Keep on. My webcam. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what number is this, by the way? This is number five, so we halfway there. So we should finish by eleven, unless I spend a lot of time on. Where am I? Where am I? Ding, 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 ding. So, the input device will be the keyboard. We know that. Input device will be the keyboard or the microphone. Um, so, I have a QWERTY keyboard. Why is it called QWERTY? Keyboard and the microphone. But the hardware interface. Not the webcam, the webcam will be our next input device. The interface meaning, I'm sorry. I would go, uh, well, the answer for this is the touch screen. Right? If you didn't notice, we have touch screen up here. So that is your hardware interface. Let's verify that. Yep. So we get there? Why not keyboard? I need to verify that part with a with a teacher. Have a IT teacher here I could call her, but let me just see. So what you can do is wake up your IT teacher and tell them. What's the difference in hardware interface? What, what do I mean by hardware interface? Oh, I understand now. Interface mean you're getting data and sending data through the same thing. So that's why the touch screen you could. You could see data and get data. The hardware interface is something you could that could do both. The input devices could only send data. You could only type into the keyboard, send through the microphone, send data through the webcam, but it can't interface with you. The touch screen could interface with you, you understand? So something could pop up, you press on that, it open up something, you zoom, you understand you interface with it. That makes sense? That makes sense, right? So we, we covered that we self with some research day. Right, so it has an interaction. Respond. It has a respond. It, ha it responds to you. It's interfacing. 
So, yeah, let's go forward. Whoop, 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 da 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 Alright, so we are number five now. Wait now. You is get to see is get to selecting from a list on ITS. What? ITS food. So they're giving you something on a list here and you're going to put this into and complete a sentence. What can I complete the sentence? Question is this way. Okay, let me pop the list here. Let me pop the list. Bam. So that is the list. I'm so you ready for Christmas. <laughs> Select the uh, all kind of thing is happening. All kind of thing is happening. Um, I'll leave out anything. Yeah, I'll leave out one, but we gonna come back for you. We gonna come back for you, but I hold strong. So let's do the first three. Um, I don't, uh, Christmas, you know, we it's Christmas, man. What the hell? Uh, let's see the story time I do around Christmas. That um, the story of the channel. Uh, let me search Cohen Springer story time and check out some of my stories. All right, so high speed wireless access to a network or the internet. Direct line between two computers. Data can travel in two directions, but only one way at a time. Word, 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 word. Okay, let me put some numbers here. Well, uh, let's see the numbers here, right? One, two, three. When you're putting your answers, put which one you which answer is which. One, two, three. This is question five. So high speed wireless. Everybody say Wi-Fi right down there for the first one. So you can take that access to. So this gone. So they cross that out. I think you can only do it once. I think the question said each one is one. Let me just check the question. Hey, 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 at least see. But I guess I guess you'd use each 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 thing once. What's the next one? Two is point to point. Direct line between uh, it's a point to point. Uh, data can travel in two directions, but only one way at a time. What is that? That's half duplex. Unfamiliar with that one. I learned that actually tonight, this evening. Half duplex. Right? So we got those. Bap, bap. Uh, let's try the others. Let's bring the others into the dance. Let's bring the others into the dance. Um, um, hey, I well, just know eh, this thing fighting me. A private network that belongs to an organization. What's that? Yes, a private network that belongs to an organization. Just come out now, boy. Apparently, I can't do that, so let's get to a new page. Real problems to pull out this thing, people. <sighs> not today, not today. Let me get this thing out. Alright, so boom. Intranet. Unauthorized distribution of computer programs. Which one is that? So nobody really state number five yet. Software piracy, great. Well, everybody know about that here. Torrents and thing, right? Some of us live and die by the torrents. Back in the days, it had something called. Back in my good old days, I had something called LimeWire and Casa. They will never know, boy. They will never know. Use of computer systems to distribute information. 
the hell is that? Broadcast. Use of computer systems to di distribute information. What are we going to do that, people? Somebody say propaganda, yes? I guess that could work too. Why are we going broadcast now? Any propaganda might work too. Propaganda, propaganda. I will go with broadcast. LimeWire, yes. Yeah? So, like some people know about LimeWire. I hear cars, I used to spread like, yeah. That is something I need to sit down and tell my children about. They just never know about LimeWire, but, but that must be good old days. Alright, so yeah. Let's go on to the next question. We, I think we crossed any half mark here. We, we in that. We still, we still before half. Should finish it in an hour. Once I don't take too long explaining stuff in programming. I really don't need to see to pull out this question. State one disadvantage, one advantage. Each DVD external hard drive. What's the advantage in a DVD? Give me the advantage for DVDs. Give me the advan the disadvantages for DVDs. Yeah, I will go with broadcast for the next one. For the last one. Now the CD was accepting both answers for that question. There's no two answers for CXC. No, that's not true. Like in this situation, you can get two answers. Remember, we didn't even use all. We didn't even use all. There were some things here we didn't use. So some, some, some times two answers acceptable. All right, scratch. Disadvantage if you scratch the back, it wouldn't work. Cheap. Could break. Portable. That could break. Could break. Portable. Not portable. Portable. That's all we have. Non volatile, yeah, non volatile. The data will stay on generally. Disadvantage low storage. I mean, it's pretty high, yeah, but it's low compared to the hard drive. Scap it in the sun, although that's not ready. It's not like it's gold and say DVD take some sun, no better. <laughs> right? Propaganda, propaganda. Slow, yeah, slowish. Compared to your hard drive. Uh, I kind of stretch. Let's see if that was accepted. Um, yeah, so slow is a kind of stretch. Slow is a kind of stretch. Some more advantages, lightweight. Some more, some disadvantages. Sometimes some laptops can't play DVDs. Um, okay, let's go with advantage for the hard drive now. Hard drive, enough for that. Let go. Yeah, like sir, yes, yeah, slow should I be here? Sorry, but I wouldn't put slow. Slow is a stretch. Stretch, catch, could break. Slow storage, whatever. Some advantage for the hard drive, high storage. <laughs> like the main advantage, it would be more expensive, yes. I'm thinking like I got with them today. Bulky. You could go and research to see any more. More costly security risk. Easily accessible. Yeah, by viruses. Viruses. So you could get a virus attack. And if you lost your information on your hard drive, you lost it all. 
Because what will happen, you end up throwing a huge amount of data and boom, attack. Right? Yes. So you do multiple choice too. Yeah, once you get the chance, we get clear them off. It's a multiple choice too. But yeah. Next question. Poopo do with that, but up die. Alright, reach you find a reach number six here. Getting across that half mark. So we look like we got we can look like we can make that eleven o'clock people. We look like we can make that eleven o'clock. Once this iPad start behaving properly. The digits company collects personal data from customers which stores in filing cabinets or on computers. Say two possible effects of improper storage of data. Okay. So you all could do an all nighter. As I say, anytime you have a weekend, see this night? This night here is a nice night to take advantage of. You know, it close to the exam, you have the adrenaline pumping, but it's not the night before the exam, so you can afford to go out. So people saying loss of data. Theft, not properly secured, data can be misplaced, modified, we're taking all of that. Well, let's 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 look at one it from two perspectives. File cabinet or you store it on your computer. It's basically the asking you the disadvantages of each. They're asking you the disadvantages of each, basically. And in the next question, they're asking you kind of like the advantages or methods to prevent. So, filing cabinet. Um, fire. Theft. Later. It's stolen. You can get data stolen here. Here too. You get virus. So I think everybody done hit down thing. Somebody say flood, not guarded. Um them is the big them is the big easy day. With the computer, you can get corrupted data. All of a sudden, your data get corrupted. Been there. It's very nightmarish. Or you could get, yeah, already per virus. In this one, you could get the data being hard to find and they slow down the whole company. You're looking for a file. This is like all government offices. Hard to find. Oh, not waterproof, yes, yeah, so or water damage. Alright, you could go on and on on this, but I get, I think we get the idea, right? You could go in your textbook and pull out some more. The buck the thief it. <sighs> Hacked. Hacked. We'll go with stolen, right? Okay, how we could how we could protect So with this you put locks. You put guards. Camera. With computer system, you put encryption. Nah, you just run the encryption. Password protect. Or backup. Backup, you can actually back up here. With this one, you can probably try having multiple copies. I look at the idea. Biometric systems. Well, yes, we go on into the future here. Biometrics. All right, okay, okay. Since so many people want to put biometrics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you all seen all kind of different things. Yeah, antivirus. Coming good with them, with them things. There, firewall, we taking that. 
Alright, so let go forward. Forward ever, backward never. Next question. Hey, it's still that more. Outline. I, I do too understand what they're asking in this question. Are they tell me what is the answers for this question? So once you can read it, tell me what are your answers for that question? I see no answers, boy. <laughs> right, better sir. I will try. I will try. I know some people will be taking screenshots as I'm going along to help with the notes. Right, so if you're recovering, okay. You're recovering. If file is corrupted. Damaged. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Archiving and backing up. Very similar. So where where would you use archiving? Archiving to hide files like when you guy hide WhatsApp from your parents. Yeah, I could put that on too. <laughs> Store files not in use. Store files that I don't use plenty. So file is corrupted or damaged. Is re re is a recovery. Or a natural disaster happen, or or maybe after an update. So after update, you might try to recover some files. Or after, if you push back your computer, figure what it's called. That. After a time period, so maybe you might archive every every month. You create an archive map and you set that aside, and you send an next archive map and you set that aside, right? And backing up, right? Well, you're backing up before a disaster. Excuse. So before anything, like if you know something going to happen, you back up, or to prevent loss in case of a device disaster. Like you press CTRL S every time you do another doc. <laughs> well, I save it, right? But you press it every time you write in to make sure that if current go is still in the is still in the dance. Like if a hurricane come and you back up, or if you go and form format the hard drive. Before formatting, All right? So stuff like that. Before, before you're going to erase everything. Maybe you're going to reset. Maybe you're going to add on new files. Maybe you're going to modify the old files. Back up, right? Let go, let go forward. So we get some good ideas there. Bam, so all of a sudden we are number seven. That is number seven, we are number seven. And all of a sudden I'm feeling real tired. Ooh, sir. 
236 people are trying to keep it over 200, right? Stay with me, stay with me, let me make it, let me make it to number 12. Jeez, and ages. 12 questions. So here we have a document, so this is like some word processing here. So watch that document there I get the questions. Questions, where are you? Stay to text for Martin. Alright, so we have some we have some one one markers question here. They're not looking too bad. So you see now we document there. Somebody have the question already. So you're blocking. I ain't blocking anything important. I guess some random typing thing we could be good. Alright, so some people had the question then then paying it out. Why do we snap in this? Scroll down, snap, zip, zap, zoop, save. Now to just drag this back on. Right, question. First set of questions. State two text formatting features other than bold or underline used in the document. Alright, so state two text formatting features. King Saya Gaming, you want to go and meet the Dean? Have some respect, my youth. <laughs> Alright, so Kylie that thing, ba boop ba boop. Uh, somebody say italoc italics and cap lock. You want to say italocs, yes? See, see what's happening in time of uh, sleep in this country. Um, so we have italics, capital letters, caps lock, whatever. <laughs> uh, we have justified text, okay, alright. Don't say slant now, say italics now, oh gosh. Um, what else, what else? Justified text. Uppercase could work. Front style or size. Word spacing, yeah. Right. Steady line justification using the first two lines of the document. Somebody saying right aligned. That's correct. No, not this one. This one, this one looks justified. Here, we have the right aligned. Right? So that's good. First two lines. What word processing feature will allow the first two lines? Okay, so this is the... This is the question here. What would and um, behind me is saying behind me here is saying lines of this advisory to be repeated on every page of the document. So what word processing feature will allow the first two lines to be repeated? Head and footer. We cooking with ram co gas. Now it's not header. And now it's not footer I mean We're going with header. Because it's at the top. Although header, when you click header and footer, sometimes both will show up. But let me just say header. Next part of the question. Hmm, some people don't rush that part of the question already. Um, so tomorrow we'll do some programming. After they come home from church or whatever. Name the word processing feature that is most... Oh, the committee wants to personalize... The advisory for the distribution to its workers without having to type each worker's name into the advisory. So, mail merge, as everybody's saying. List three fields that should be inserted into the advisory. What are the three fields that we should have? Well, name, surname, jo um, the, the, the job title, what they're what they doing, what is the position. So, 
Yeah, maybe name, maybe address. Address of the worker? Mm, I'm not too sure. Address. Maybe not. Um, okay, but definitely name, position, or job title. Seen people with some nice ideas there. And the name, you could probably split that to first and last name. First and name. So, um, I don't, I don't know what else you can want. What else you can want? Department. What department they working in? What else I want to know about more as well? I don't know, the position, the title, seniority level, how, how long they work in there. So I'm going and sleep. Thanks for the lesson, though. It helped a lot. Blessings, my brother. But are you going and sleep or people? More people coming on, the numbers going up. Instead, the three fields listed in B2 on the advisory on page 14. Instead, the three fields, what page are you talking about, anyway? Eh? What are we supposed to do today? What page is this? Oh, they just want you to put it in. They just want you to put in what, what we say. What we're going to put it in. Um, so you just put it in. Put it in. Here. What we're going to put it in. Either here or here. Before or after the title. Before. Right, so somebody do it correctly, just put it in the um, um, brackets, um, name, or first name, title, and look at you just, whatever. Right, so we good, we good. Let's go forward. Next. We can get some next in the chat. We good, wise. Now there's that, some easy stuff there. Your word processing, don't lose no marks on that. I wish I revised that part of the thing better so I could uh, ask some random questions just to make sure everybody clean. There, number eight. What the hell is this? So let me get number eight. Number eight is a spreadsheet. <laughs> the first part of the question is asking us to write the formula to be inserted into the cell D2 to calculate the total cost of the digital forensic toolkit. So that'll be two times here too. Oh, what time are you doing paper one boy? I'm not doing no paper one tonight now. Nah. After after this we're racking up. So this we're racking up. So tomorrow we're doing some IT, some physics, and maybe some inti well, We might do no more IT tomorrow. I might have to do the if if IT is Tuesday, I will do IT on Monday night. But if IT is IT is Tuesday, right? Yeah, so you have to be B2 star. Star right. If IT is Tuesday, IT, what, when is IT? Physics is Monday. Stop saying tomorrow. So IT is Tuesday, yeah. So I'm going to do my IT tomorrow again. I will, I will do that programming Monday evening when people, when people, <laughs> when people frighten. Um, what am I looking for? So, all right, cool. Physics is Monday, so we'll do some physics tomorrow. Um, somebody said it's sum. We want to sum here. We want to sum any dots. Right? Right. What about the next one? Next question. 
Oh, oh Lord. Where are you next person? I'm falling asleep here, boy. I'm falling asleep on myself here. Outline how to insert. Yes, so I'll leave this up on the channel so you can always get it back. Outline how to insert the formula and A into D3 to D8 in order to calculate of the remaining items without. Let me just read that out that word that missing me. Calculate the totals without retyping the formula. Right, so you drag. Oh, I don't understand what they want. So you had to, you had to hit, you had to come here, over here with your mouse and drag down the formula. Right. So, description for that. Oh, you can use copy and paste. So using the data fill handle, we'll drag lower right corner. That handwriting good for your for lady boy. And to drag the formula down, or you could use copy and paste. We use CTRL C, then you'll use CTRL and V over selected region. Alright, so you copy it, the formula, and then you paste the whole formula down on the selected region. Yeah, you can use copy and paste too. That without retyping the formula, right? That answer the question. Or you can just use the drag. The drag is the, the drag should be faster here. See, can see, 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 see. Yeah, it's still at the drag. So the drag is the better. One. You could use copy and paste. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact, my people. This is two answers that was accepted. Yeah, copy and paste will be too much work in this case. It's not a lot more though. It's not a lot. If you know to do your CTRL, see you're good. Jermaine Hatton did an integrated science crash course. That'll be real good. Jermaine is do, do some good work. So if you have an integrated science crash course, head on to Jermaine Hatton. I know I recommend them channels right you. So you can check out his channel. Jermaine Hatton. Jermaine. What this man is do? English, what he doing integrated science? Jermaine Hatton. So you can check out him. Let's go on. Next. Wait, still had more to discuss. In. Who's sir? Staying awake. Staying alive. State the field that was used to sort the spreadsheet. So what field we use to sort the spreadsheet? Let's go back on the spreadsheet and see which field. Which was the field used to sort. Alright, I'm seeing it. Which field was used to sort? Venom. Shout out, Venom Clan. Full respect to the Venom Clan. Everybody in the dance. Alright, so the cost per item was used to, because it's seen everything sorting out here. And it's sorting out in descending order from highest to lowest. Right? Descending and cost of item. Okay, so we're ready to move on here now. We're ready to move on. Bam, problem solving and programming. Question 9. What everyone has been waiting for. All right, guys and fellas, we had to close off the live day. So it's, <laughs> Woo! so it's tired. All right, so answer answer them questions, there, people.
stop capping. Fell handle there. Yeah. We talk about some people living in the past again. Some people answering questions from 10 minutes ago. What's that? What's that? I didn't see no answers. I just saying you and you uh, and Lord. And, Your weight and your age. We put weight and a year. If the weight is less than okay, all right. To see is to determine who is unfit or fit for a person in the year 1990. That's the best answer there. Alright, so that's the best answer there. So what happening here, boy? You input a weight and a year. And once you're in the year 1990, this is a if then else. If then else. Once you're in the year 1990, they will check your weight. And if your weight is less than 180, they say cool, perfect. If it is more than 180, what kind of evil program is this? <laughs> so this program, let's check it to see if you're over 180, right? So that's that. To so check if a person's weight is less than 180, and no, the person who I read before had it best. They determine if some people... If weight of someone in nineteen ninety, maybe born in nineteen ninety, because I'll assume that is what they're talking about. Born in nineteen ninety, it's perfect. Perfect mean less than 180 or on or not fit. Alright, state the data type of for the variable weight. What's the data type here? What type of data is this? Somebody says string. Hmm. Things rough out here, boy. <laughs> right, so most people say real. Not string, please. So real, right? And you're saying real because we're seeing that point zero there. So we're not going to go down the integer route. We're going to go down the real route. Real magic. We're not going down that route either. No, it could be born. Meaning like if someone who Well I'll put it in nineteen ninety since it didn't mention nothing about born. In nineteen ninety. But meaning like if somebody age and you pay the the year was born in nineteen ninety and then you pay a weight is one ninety. 180 or whatever they will check out right so that's what they talk about anyhow let's go on let's go on to the next part so that was just a little piece of that some algorithm there state to what's the difference between pseudocode and the real programming language what is the difference between pseudocode and the real program and what is that algorithm Okay, let's take one thing at a time. Why is why is this pseudo code? Why is this pseudo code? Tag boss out here saying string. <laughs> Tag boss. Tag boss. Okay, let me write. Hurry up now. 
I am not. I am not. So he's as I said, I am not. What is so no nobody in going and talk about pseudocode? Pseudocode uses English like terms. Pseudocode doesn't use semicolons. Yeah, we leave out pseudocode is pseudocode represents the code without the syntax. Ten points of Grafinda. Right? So it solves the problem, it gives the program it gives the programmer idea of what he needs to program without using the programming language. It's faster, you just write in, in near English. It's like a cross which is like if English and programming the programming language come together and they had a child, pseudocode. What is algorithm? What is an algorithm? What is a pseudocode is a fake type of programming language used to teach. <laughs> what is an algorithm? Now, way back about 17 years ago, when I was in computer studies, the definition they gave us for algorithm. An algorithm is a finite list of sequential steps when executed leads to the solution of a particular problem. Right? So you can probably take that down and memorize it and tell somebody it 17 years from now. Finite list of sequential steps when executed leads to the solution of a particular problem. So some people say in a set of instructions that can be tested, but can your definition match mine? I think not. My definition is unreliable. <laughs> so that too long. <laughs> it's a series of un unambiguous, clearly defined and finite steps to solve a problem. Solem, we take in that too. Memorize them thing. A set of logical steps to complete an action, short and sweet. Okay, so the song like here. All right, so short and sweet is the way to go. Yeah, I feel like taking that too. So state two examples of data that would not be suitable to test the pseudocode. What pseudocode? This. Oh, so what type of data if you put in here, you can't test the pseudocode on. Now it's time for my people them to shine. My real, my real. My, my string people. So you can paint, if we put string, string here, like letters or spaces. No, if you put in zeros, it might work. So, uh, what, what we don't want to put in, ignoring string, this is like the general thing. We don't want to put in letters. We don't want to put in extreme numbers, like numbers greater than a million or so. We don't put in letters, pieces, or symbols. We don't want to put in negative numbers. And I catch you just. That's not what we want inside there. Okay, move on. Complete the following trace table to show the output to you uh, from the two algorithms. Okay, we have two algorithms here. But why are these two looking the same? Oh, this one is an and, and this one is an or. So these are if and, if this is this is if with an and involved. This is a if then with a or involved. So now you see if you could understand what or and and say. Alright, so now the ones where it we, it wouldn't print, you just leave it blank. So I guess you need to just write perfect for the ones where it would work on. So less than 180 and yes and the year is 1990. Perfect. Perfect. That's the only one, because this one had 1990, but not less than 180. So, all the rest here, go in and get leave blank. Because both of the things must be true to write perfect. What about this one? If anyone is true, you're getting perfect. 
so perfect 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 so we get three perfects this one both are false so no perfect for you perfect i really gonna write perfect three times in a row here by yes i am perfect perfect and on top of that you are going to watch me write it <laughs> perfect perfect and perfect that's just perfect wait now five marks or not that's probably the easiest five marks unless i didn't understand the and Perfect, unfit. What? What is a homeout? So sleepy. Are things perfect? Whatever. Whatever, my friend. The video will be up. Um, the video will be up. Next. Weird flex. <laughs> Weird flex. But okay. So consider the following pseudo code to program. Oh god, we had a draft flow chat now. So let me see how if the flow chat looking good. Jeez, I need cheers. I don't figure out this flow chat now, boy. These last few numbers here, boy. So these last few numbers is why it's has to be back in now. Swoosa. Consider the following pseudocode to program. So we need to initialize and initialize again. So that is one thing. Then we need this, we need to set up a while temperature is not equal to zero, not equal to negative one. Input the temperature. Output. So we set up a while loop there. Then a if, else, then a if, then else. So two loops, then a exit. So, this is a, you gotta work for this. How much marks again for this here, boy? How much marks again for this? 15 marks. 15 marks for this. What really going on here? That's how it's work. That's how it's work for this. So again, 10 marks, 10 marks, 10 marks, 10 marks, 10 marks, boom, 15 marks for this question, isn't it? So 10 marks for the field. Whoa, IT, IT don't play, boy. Uh, uh, what about the next question? 10, 10. So, really, boy? I don't understand. <laughs> 15 marks. Because <laughs> Jimmy can't buy through this. I can't bother with programming, no? All right, let me just, let me just... Review the symbols again in this killer, so I'll be able to draw this thing. We have the step that poop. Ten. We nearly done, people. Let me just go through this flow chart. Uh, our <laughs> imagine losing. Yeah, imagine losing all these marks. Fifteen marks of this. Yes. Jeez. Man. Alright, I'm gonna quit my flow, my flow chat thing here, right? Really. And it just remind me what all these symbols mean. Although there's an input output symbol, there's a there's an input output symbol, there is a, the start stop symbol, um, and the process box, and the decision box. Now obviously you have your arrows, right? So let me just write let me just write this so I can keep it in mind. This this Lord have mercy. This that is your start stops. This is the process box. So I'll bring them start and something afterwards, but the key is the process. That's the one where where a process has been carried out. Art skills and fleek. <laughs> um, this is the input output one. This is a decision box. That right? Where you can get a little yes or no's. 
of true or false this is where you're requesting information or displaying information good I remember every I know everything now let's see if I can draw this channel star so we want to we want to ignore any start and stop thing I have symbols here I could use yeah, I could, I could get a nice clean box here. Where we have to initialize the beast. Um, what to draw this way? We have to initialize. After I draw it, I explained right. I kind of forget it out for myself here in this horizontal thing. So we initialize in. Initialize what we initialize in count to zero and temperature to zero. Count to zero, count to zero. So initialize count to zero, temp to zero. What is this program doing? While temperature is not equal to negative one, output temperature is up to, or oh, if you go down to negative one, end of test. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Then we're going into a decision. Let's decide that now. You have to be careful of this because it's 15 marks now. Boy. So is the count, where's the decision? While well, temp is not equal to negative 1. So is it equal to negative 1? Is temp equal to negative 1? Everybody understand so far? Yeah, I, tell, I said I'm going to put in the start and thing afterwards, but I just get in the meat of the thing. So ignore not having the start. How oh, are looking so far? Good? Far math teacher? <laughs> Some people saying end. Don't worry about the start. Don't worry about the start. Um, is count, is count to zero. Let's add one to count. And temperature is not equal to one and five hundred and something like that. And I think that's just a little bit. I'm not too sure I understand this piece here. Yes. Let's see. 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 let Consider the following pseudo code for a program. Initialize count to zero. Initialize temp to zero. I just explained the difference between the boxes. So if you start, how you stop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I commented that. So if you I commented the start and stop, I just I just want to get the meat of the program in first. Um, initialize count to zero. While temp is not equal to one, input temp. Output temperature. Um. Now, boy, I feel I want to input the temperature first, boy. Now I have a solution here, but I don't like it. So. Seeing some weird things here. So um, I would need to verify this one afterwards. Let's look out for if if I make a mistake, I would write it in the comments afterwards. But so I'm thinking instead of going into this decision box, let me get the input for the temperature first. Let me get the input for the temperature. Like this. 
input temperature. Right, so we have it now. Now we'll see if this input, now we'll ask if this one, gosh, look nothing. We'll ask if is temperature equal to one. So if yes, what are we gonna do? So if yes, then you have a no day. So if yes, this is the output end of test. So there's our output end of test. We good day? I don't follow the pseudocode order. I did. While temperature is not equal to negative one, input temperature, output temperature accepted. Right, um, let's add one to count. Good. So inside here, I need to output temperature accepted. Then this will have to go back Is the temperature equal to 1 or negative 1? Negative 1. I keep saying 1 is negative 1. Anybody point out that to me? Oof. Well, pressure here, boy. Negative 1. Hmm. That's why I might have to put this first. goes back here. All right, how do I look in there, people? Now, I just been a, a small start and stop here. This is a start. I'll check it over just now and see if I have to make any changes. Stop. I find this looking fishy for... It's okay. Go sleep. Do this on Monday. It's okay. Go and sleep. So you can't put the input... I can't, I, I'm breaking a rule. I forget to add the count plus one right here. I know I didn't, I didn't add that. Yes, I could do what I do there. So just, I need to add one here. So before I go back, Say count is count is equal to count plus one. Always write this. Add one to count. Add one to count. So yeah, just increasing the count. Yeah, the flow chart supposed to go top to bottom, but I small thing. I just played like this because I was running out of space. Arrows. 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 Um, but according to what I learned, it wasn't. Other security arrows meet up. Alright, we good there? Shouldn't an if diamond be there? If do we have a if? Yeah, well, no, I already covered that here. <coughs> so, 
So explain that whole thing. This is depression. Somebody said it looks wrong. Thing. I find it looking good. Now I have an answer here, but I have a little problem with the answer. And this answer is this answer is approved by a someone who teaches com, um integrate in let's call this information technology. Still like you're mad at me for I go in and cry myself to sleep. I'm sorry, I explain this in a nicer way. I, I feel like I scare some people with what I do here. I'm just for this. So you didn't follow the other of the pseudocode. I did. Why this person keeps saying that? I need sleep. No, I don't. So they start, then they initialize. Initialize <coughs> while the temperature is not equal to negative one. So I need to get the temperature, right? I need to get the temperature, and while the temperature is not equal to negative one, I will be outputting temperature accepted. But if it's equal to negative one, I'm supposed to put end of this and jump outside of this loop. So let's see if that happens. Initialize, I get my temperature, I check to see if it's negative one if it's not i need to output temperature accepted and go back again because it's a while loop so you have to keep going until you get negative one now if the temperature is negative one i'll be out of the loop i'll input end of test and i'll be finished that's good that's good just make sure you use the right boxes now there was a there's a count and if the count if the count wanted us to leave when it reaches a certain number, then it would have looked something like this, which is the same thing I do, except I didn't have this escape here. Understand? So I think I think this I think this makes sense. So the count initialize, then. You input your temperature, uh, the, and I also, I also put the output here separate than the output here, which makes mine a little more, a little better than this in a way, I feel, right? Um, except mine should have been position going this way. So you input the temperature, your right temperature accepted. This is this this is happening. If the temperature is not equal to negative one, if it isn't equal to negative one, you need to end the test. Because watch, output temperature accepted. Oh no, I have one mistake in mind. I have one mistake in mind. You'll see. Maybe this is what the person was trying to tell me. This temperature, this temperature accepted box. Right. Damn it. This temperature accepted box should be in here. Oh boy. So in there, I should have um, the output. Output temperature accepted. Because you want to accept the temperature as soon as they give it now. So that's the one mistake. All right, please go through the multiple choice. Let me go do like kind. So, I help people go to sleep with this question. I mess up this question. But this is your answer here. Apart from this part, which is just unknown to me, maybe there should be a count here. This is your official answer here. Where, I'm explaining it one more time, especially for those who are watching the video and want a complete answer. The count is set to zero. The temperature is set to zero. You initialize your count. You check and see if your count is 10, because if your tongue count go over 10, you want to escape, you want to exit. Right? But that wasn't said in the pseudocode, so I ignored this. And then, you input the temperature, and the output that temperature is accepted one time. So, in my diagram, instead of putting it here, I could have just 
or instead of using two boxes I could have just used the inputs and output in one box I could have just said input temperature and output temperature accepted one time and that's the only difference then you do your check to see if the temperature is negative one to know whether to end the test or to add one to the count and repeat the test it's kind of simple so tomorrow so torture so I'm lost that was real easy so some people are okay if you understand it let me see some wise in the chat let me see some wise in the chat if you understand this I don't do EDPM so you yeah, better teach this over Monday night better teach this better Monday night yeah, I'm going to come back Monday night and teach this, right? But some people understand, look at, good bit of wise, good bit of wise, man. Um, so I'll give this a little better chance, I'll, I'll give a little better effort Monday. I need to talk to my IT teacher about this part here. This part here is weird to me, right? Okay, let's check the last two questions and call that George. I want to make sure I complete, complete the paper, especially for those who are coming back and watch the video. Scroll, 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 scroll. Um, and that. So we enter number eleven here now. We are on to number eleven. Some people seen I see the ends, I see the ends. Some people in this array arrays. So this is array. This is an array question. Please don't get discouraged. Consider the following one-dimensional array named class, which is used to store the number of students in class one to four. So this is the class number here, and this is the number of students. Rain started to fall so you might hear some noise in the background. What's the number of students in class one? And the class that what was it is three marks here. So after that piece of madness. After that 15 marks killer question, we good, we good. 45 to write. Write Pascal Claude for each of the following to input the number 63 into class to three. Write the Pascal code for that people. So you put the number 63 into class 3. That's what they say. Arrays are easy. 3. I didn't see nobody writing any code though. You want to use the is set. That kind of, well, I don't know where they call it now. No, not that, not that, not that. People really pour in this, um, right? So, good. Who put that in? Jan Janelle Moore. Right, Zachary, great. So, class three is set to. 63. Mm, you can demo little semicolon if you want to go to the next side. Next. You good day? Somebody said they take any day. We nearly done, we nearly done. Hold on. A little longer. Alright, add the name, add the number of children in the four classes. So you need to write some Pascal code again. People don't run away any Pascal code. This is the part you're going on. The, uh, the first few parts easy. Try and catch your marks on the Pascal code. Hold on a little longer. Stay in class. Don't run out of class. Right, I've seen people come back because we had reached 170. So back to the 187. That flow chat thing, people take a break in that flow chat thing. Alright, so add the number of children in the four classes and store the total in a variable named total. <coughs> so 
so let's see who can pull out that Pascal code the first first how uh, much marks again for this Again, four marks for this. Somebody, somebody using a four, and they're going to put in a count. Right? So you can use the four. The four do loop. The four J is equal to one to four do. And you're waving and do. Right? So I'm going to say hurry up. I want to go and play PUBG. Um, Alright, I'll hurry up since people want to go and play PUBG. Tyus Gomez put a nice answer there. I would have just put that answer and call that Georgia. I'd have just say total. What is this? Class 1, class 2. Class 1, class 1. Class 1, class 2. So you can just do this instead of laugh for the loop thing. Keep it in one line. My line, I run out of line space. Right, and done. Done all of that. Or you're gonna say four, and you use a counter. Okay, some people are saying J or I um, equal one to four do class, no, total. Total equal total plus class G, right? Something like that. So total is equal to total plus class G. <coughs> I forget in here, right? that so is there a way to send you funds um just talk to me on instagram and i'll show you how to send me funds why is people who work with online classes me just send it straight to a bank account this is a bank transfer so yeah semicolon that that's it there i, I might want to initiate initiate the total however but I, I don't think that that was part of the max Good. Why is in the chat? If we good one in this one. Yeah. Kicks I ignore this live stream. Hard luck, my brother. Next question. Let's get the next question on the way quickly. Men want to go and play PUBG. And men are exam. I out here teaching men and men want to go and play PUBG. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, man. Fortnite and free fire hunting. Oh, so it has some errors. And you need to correct all the errors here. You need to do some work on this programming. So programming and flow chats, so flow chats do not to be seen too in IT. Okay. So for number one, is the correct way to write it? Cost array one to eight of real. Okay, what's the correct way to write that? Whew, it was a nice session, it was a long session. I wanted to finish eleven. You can't see it good. You all seeing it? See what I see um Jelia putting the correct answer. So what we want to really do here is put in that the two dots. 
right? Next one. Uh, while week is less than five, week is equal to week plus one. Oh, we've seen some problems here. Was the problems? Woo, chat heating up there, boy. Yeah, boy, beast boy. Hard luck day, boy. So I'll do this teach over the um, flowcharts and the programming on Monday night. Yeah, so. No. This is us. This is this is this is this is a variable declaration or whatever. So that good. That's this is the only problem here. The brackets and the, the two dots. So that good. I'm not putting that there. Right? We're using a colon there. Here we need to, to fix this though. And we need a do. Right. So Tiffany, I've seen people getting this out. What about this one? Constant interest is less than 25%. What do I mean here? We can't use this 25%. We had to use 0 0.25. And this is interest is equal to that. Right? Oh, it's a constant. Well, we're setting that. So the constant is... Um, the interest must be equal to that. You can't pull less than that. Right, so good. Let's get the last bit. Let's take it home, guys. Let's take it home. Let's finish strong. After that question. We're at the end of the test here. So we're getting good bit of marks for these questions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. 10 marks are full of this table of fixing, finding the, finding the problems. So one one piece of a question again and we are finished. There we go. What's this one? Print answer repeat until answer four or five. Four or five. Answer answer answer. answer, 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 answer. So, it, there are three mistakes in this one. I have three mistakes in this one. Right. And so I set the answer plus one. I use print and I use right line, right line. Answer. What else? They can't use or here so loosely. That doesn't look like that. Answer equal five. Repeat until thing. Right. We good there? <sighs> Ramon has left the chat. So that's a whole paper there, we, the, the 15 mark question, I would have definitely lose some marks in that question. I feel like I'm still losing marks in that question. <laughs> like I'm still using, losing marks in that question. What's already going on in this question here? Right? So this part of it is, is understood, but I just discount. What was the count about? Because they didn't really specify anything about the count in the, in the pseudocode. We just added one to the count, but they didn't. 
say anything to do with the count equal 10 or, or, or whatever so that's 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 the only weird part in this this here so we want to do a little we want to look a little more at flowcharts and programming language monday night hopefully if i don't come online please don't be too mad you'll, you'll be on your own but i'm really running out of energy these days and i want to save some for um multiple choice in the subjects that i normally do normally teach maths physics chemistry and maths right so all the best i hope this helps real people let me see some wise in the chat if you learned something tonight hope you learned something tonight and hope this helps jump start your revision maybe you go and do some more past papers strength up the easy parts make sure you don't lose marks in the part where you just need to memorize stuff in it apparently the first nine questions are like that first nine questions is just memorizing then you need to learn, you need to go through your flowcharts and try some flowcharts examples as you see we have some problem with the flowcharts and obviously strengthen up on the programming language this was a this was the january 2018 paper so it's not a paper. i didn't do a too close paper i might do maybe the june next so you may or maybe the 2017 next so you'll get a so that i'm pretty sure some things will repeat some ideas some concepts will repeat and you'll be good about that excuse me integrated science i want to touch a little bit of that tomorrow and then we're going to do some more physics we have a good bit of stuff in physics so if i do integrated science i'll just do a little bit of stuff in the in the afternoon that again people get in trouble with and but i won't focus too much on integrated science because i know a lot of people get trouble with that subject but it is a subject you could learn by yourself but some things in physics really require teaching Right? So, until next time, until next time, don't forget to um, press like on the video, even if, even if you haven't, press like yet, press like now, because um, that would help the video for when people coming back to watch it and stuff like that. It help the metrics, help the YouTube system. If you haven't followed me yet, follow me on Instagram to, to find always the latest of me and Jens here. <laughs> Just search Cohen Spring on Instagram. Um, and I'll keep in touch with you all. You don't have the exam roll out. So anyhow, all the best. All the best. You have 100 more likes than views that we're talking about. we outside. Take back that man. You dis disrespect you. <laughs> How earlier? Either I take back the disrespect to man you or I take a dislike on the video. Virgin, if you had to dislike the video, dislike the video, but I can't, I can't, I can't take back anything bad I say about Manu, boy. Sorry, boy. I, I'd kind of like Manu, you know, when? We back in Dwight York days. And after that, I just... Yeah. Anyhow, later, later. Hold it down.